Picture this, all right? Regular slice. Eyes, nose, mouth, arms, hands. Pizza Mon. Pizza Mon. Pizza Mon. Pizza Mon. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke. It's episode eight. And in today's episode, we're gonna travel to the Pinwheel Forest, we're gonna meet up with our new friend Berg, and we're gonna figure out what Team Plasma is doing. They stole a skeleton head in the previous episode, and speaking of the previous episode, if you guys missed it, make sure you go check it out because it was a great episode, and of course, the link to that episode will be down below in the description. Now, before we get the ball rolling in today's episode, I think it would be a good idea to start things off with a very quick team recap, and I mean a very quick team recap. So, here we have Tommy, our starter Pokemon, the Ambipom at level 20. Next up, we have Kevin Durant, the MVP of this team at level 21. Then we have Slim Shady, the Heatmore, at level 14. We have Jordan, the Empoleon, at level 12. He's holding the Mystic Water to power up those already powerful water-type attacking moves. And finally, we have the newest addition to the team, Roscoe, the Marshtomp, at level 13. And that's how you do a very quick team recap my friends if you guys are excited for today's episode make sure you hit that like button for me you guys are the best and without further ado let's travel to the west let's come over here to the pinwheel forest here we are and i love the name of this forest it just sounds so incredible and here is berg so let's talk to berg and let's get this show on the road this leads to pinwheel forest if they manage to scuttle off into the forest we might have trouble Okay, so let's make sure that they don't scuttle off into the forest. Let's follow them, and let's see exactly what we gotta do. And the music is very intense! I like this, and I just woke up, and it's currently like 3.40 p.m. right now. It's 3.39 p.m. to be exact. I woke up about, I would say, a half hour ago, took a shower, here I am, ready to record. I'm feeling good, and I'm wearing a hat today! I don't know why, just, you know, I sat in front of my computer, I was like, you know what? I want to wear a hat today. I want to wear the Captain America slash Iron Man hat because it's freaking awesome and I like this hat. And let me know in the comments if you like my hat. Let's continue reading dialogue here. Well, you see, there are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest. The road that goes straight and the path that winds through the woods. I will take the straight road after them. If they're not there, I'll block the exit. Would you please take the other way and check whether Team Plasma is hiding in there somewhere. You'll run into a lot of trainers, but it's basically a single path, so I'm sure you won't get lost. Come on, let's do this for Lenora's sake. Yeah, let's do it for Lenora's sake, and you're going the straight path that has no trainers, and we have to go through the wavy path that has multiple trainers. It seems like I am getting the short end of the stick, uh, but you know what? I'm totally okay with it. I just need to make sure that we don't lose any Pokemon in today's episode because we have been doing really well lately. Knock on wood, I shouldn't have knocked on the damn wood. Every time I've knocked on wood in this series, something bad has happened, but let's stay focused. Let's put Kevin, no, you know what? Let's train up Slim Shady, Roscoe, and Jordan in today's episode. Let's make sure that we train them up. So let's put Jordan in the front and we'll do a little switcherooski training, the little switch method, that's what we're going to do. And I see a Team Plasma grunt already. They couldn't have gotten very far, they were literally holding a Dragonite skull. You guys let me know in the comments, the skeleton in the museum was a Dragonite skeleton, and they took the head, so they couldn't have gotten very far. That seems like it's a very big skull, but we're going to cross that bridge when we get to it. We're going to deal with that when we get to it. One, two, one, two, keep time with each other, and one, two, punch! We discuss what we do before in a battle. That's really cool, guys. That's really cool, guys. Let's do a little golf clap for you guys. You guys are really cute. We have cheerleaders Bob and Ann. How you guys doing? Uh, we're gonna slaughter you guys. And they're going to send out a Poochiena and a Duosian. Am I saying that right? That's the middle form of the Ranunculus, right? I think that's the final form. We battled the base form in the previous episode, I believe. Then the base form evolves into this, and then it evolves into the Ranunculus. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. But anyway, should we stay in? I think we're going to stay in. My glasses are filthy. I probably should have cleaned them before I started recording, but it's okay. We're gonna go for a bubble on both of them, and then we're gonna go for a bite on the Duosian. And that is a really cool Pokemon. All three of those Pokemon are just super cool. And Kevin absolutely slaughters 
that Pokemon, and we get paralyzed because of the static. That is not okay, but I do love this battle music. The music in this game, well done, Nintendo. Well done, Nintendo. Well done, Game Freak. The music in this game is absolutely incredible. And here's just a little random thought that popped into my head. Why is there still no pizza Pokemon? All right? There's no pizza Pokemon. There is no Pokemon based off of a slice of pizza. Picture this, all right? Regular slice. Eyes, nose, mouth, arms, hands. Pizza Mon. Pizza Mon. Nintendo, get on that. But anyway, yeah, the music's incredible. I want a pizza Pokemon. I think we all want a pizza Pokemon. I mean, who doesn't love pizza? If you don't love pizza, let me know in the comments below. But I want to know why, all right? Because if you don't like pizza... We gotta get to the bottom of this. We really gotta figure this out. But we are going to get attacked by this Poochiana. Poochiana, can you please just die? Can you get off my screen? To me, it sounds like I'm getting a little sick. And I don't want to get sick. I feel like all the time, around this time of year, I always seem to get a little sick. Nothing too severe. Just a little sick. Just a little throat issue, a little little cold, the common cold, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna tough through it, okay? I'm very excited to be recording this episode today. Now, I'm a little bit behind schedule because, like I said, I slept till about 3 o'clock or whatever time I slept to. But, you know what? It's going to be a great day. We're going to get this episode done. We're going to get it edited, exported, and uploaded for you guys so you guys can all enjoy it. Then I have to run a couple errands. I got to hit the gym with one of my good friends, Mikey. We're starting a great fitness regimen today, and we are excited to get in the gym and, and break those chains and make some gains. And that Ram Dam, a poet, didn't even know it. But, yeah. I'm excited to be wearing a hat today. I mentioned that already, but I'm really excited to be wearing a hat today. Let's come over here, let's talk to you, and let's give you a very unique voice. You stubborn brat! When I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore! Okay, well, what happens when I'm through with you? And hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, boss Rachel, how you doing? You're gonna send out a Suicune. Okay, you gotta relax. And I love the Suicune cry. It is fantastic. We're gonna send out Jordan, and, you know, this really is not a good matchup. I mean, I guess it could be a good matchup. Should we see if Jordan can take down this Suicune? No, it's not worth it. It's not worth us losing Jordan because we want to do a little experiment over here. Let's go out to Tommy. Let's go out to Tommy. And Suicune is so cool. I love the little white ribbons that, like, flow off of its body. It goes for a bite. And that does a decent amount of damage, but that was a crit. We're going to go for a Fury Swipe, see how much damage that does. It's going to be Stab. You avoided the attack, Suicune. All right, I see you, big dog. I see you indeed. And this is doing too much damage. Let's go for a Fury Swipes again. We outspeed. We do connect that time. Can we hit five times? Because that is just not doing enough damage. That was a crit. We hit four times. That did a good amount of damage. I mean, we're battling a legendary, a legendary Pokemon. I was just going to go on a rant about how, how some people say legendary and some people say legendary. Um, we almost just died. That could have been a disaster. That definitely could have been a disaster. Uh, super potion. Will that heal me up all the way? How much is this going to heal me up by? Let's just really do the math here. Uh, no, I don't want to go to my Pokeballs. Fresh water does more, right? 50? 50. Okay, so they're both 50. I'm going to go for a Super Potion. That'll get me to, to green. It'll get me to green. That'll put us in a good position. Now, as long as this Suicune doesn't crit or do anything crazy, we will be able to kill it. Oh my goodness, that was scary. Okay, really, Suicune? Can we not right now? Can we not lower my defenses, you beautiful, majestic beast? Down goes the Suicune. That was very scary. I thought for a second Tommy was a goner. Uh, what is Jordan learning? Jordan is learning Peck. Very cool, so I will get rid of Growl to learn Peck. That's a great move to have on Jordan. I mean, necessarily, I wouldn't say a great move because I don't think Jordan is part flying type. So it's not Stab. No, Jordan is Steel and Water. So it's really not good of a move at all. Hmm. But I'll tell you what is good. This high quality H2O on a beautiful... It's Tuesday, right? Is it Tuesday? What day is it? I got all my days messed up. Let me see if I can look on my calendar here. It just says December 27th. I need to know what day it is. It's Tuesday! All right! Wow, I am... My head's up my asshole. But yeah, happy Tuesday, guys. Hope you're having an amazing day. I love to break the fourth wall, as I always love to do. Too bad! I haven't got anything. If you want to get it back, you're just gonna have to look for my associates. 
Okay, that's no problem. I got nothing to do today. Now, hold on a second. What route is this considered? Is this all considered the Pinwheel Forest? Because if that's the case, I believe we got an encounter here already. Here's Nacreen City. Here's the Pinwheel Forest. If we come down here, we got an encounter in the Pinwheel Forest. Is this also the Pinwheel Forest? Yes, it is. And the music is incredible. So we can't get a new encounter over here, unfortunately. But we can continue to battle these grunts. And who is that in the grass with the really cool red hat? My, my. Could you be looking for something? Yes. And that was a really weird voice, <laughs> but I enjoyed doing it. And look at the beard today. A little beard update for you guys. I am going to go to the barber today. That's one of the errands that I have to do. Uh, I don't know if you would call that an errand, but he's, this person's going to send out a for alligator. But yeah, I'm going to get it trimmed again on the sides, leave the goatee and mustache getting thicker so it has that elongated look. I'm really excited about that. Can't wait to go take care of that. Here's a for alligator. Now, I want to go... I want to go out to a different Pokemon. I debated on staying in with, with, I debated on staying in with Jordan, but now that I'm thinking about it, probably not a good idea. I'm going to go out to Tommy because I believe Tommy could take down this Feraligator and Feraligator is such a cool Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon. He is going for a water gun. It would be really cool if they ever introduce a mega Feraligator and he becomes dragon because to me, Feraligator always reminded me of like, I feel like it should have been part dragon type. You know what I mean? That would have been really cool. Like a water and dragon. That would have been pretty badass. Mm. Because it just looks like, yeah, I know it looks like an alligator, obviously. It's a feraligator. It's a gator. But it would have been really cool if they introduced a mega where it turned dragon. But anyway, enough of my rambling about mega feraligator. Let's go for a shadow ball, see how much damage that does. Uh, I know shadow ball is not stab, and we really don't have the best special attack. Yeah, that did not do a lot of damage. You go for the scary face. Scary face could be a very deadly move because now our speed harshly fell. You are going to attack first. No! We still outspeed for Alligator. You must be very slow. You have the Flame Body ability, which burns us. Now, that's a really cool ability. That burns on contact, right? That is a really cool ability. I really hope that we get a for Alligator at some point in this lock. Oh, no, no, no. We're not playing this game right now. We are not playing this game right now. Please just kill this thing on the next turn. Please kill this thing. Rage is going to build every single turn. That was a crit. That's a great start. What is going on right now? The Rage is building. We only hit one time. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. The rage builds every time it gets attacked. Please kill it. Please kill it or we're going to lose a lock. Please kill it. Oh, we are so fucked. Oh, no, but we outspeed. Oh, no, but you're going for scary face again. This is so bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so bad. I got to go out to Kevin. I got to go out to Kevin because his defenses are, are, are much higher than Tommy's, right? My defense is 60. What are Tommy's defenses? Oh my goodness, this thing... 36. Yeah, I gotta go out. I gotta go out to Kevin. I gotta go out to Kevin. It's gonna be resisted. I gotta go out to Kevin, right? That's the smart move here. Go out to Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go out to Kevin. I'm so scared right now. I did not know every time you attack it while it's using rage, that raises its, you know, power. This is very scary. I gotta go out to Kevin. I gotta go out to Kevin. Don't go for any water type attacking moves. Now, luckily, all of your water type... No, you have to stay for on rage. You have... You're locked into rage right now. Kevin, come through! You're not locked into rage. I am confused on many levels, but you know what? I don't think we have anything to worry about now. We're just gonna go for the bite. You go for scary face again. I'm very confused. I don't know if I just got scared for no reason there. I thought rage was gonna be super powerful, and I thought rage was just gonna body us. I went up to Kevin because I figured he would resist rage. He has much more defenses... We're learning Metal Claw. That's good for you, Jordan. I almost had a heart attack. Jordan is learning a ton of moves in today's episode. Uh, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of... Tackle? Or Peck? Neither of them are Stab. I want to keep Peck. Let's get rid of Tackle. So we're going to get rid of Tackle. We're going to learn Metal Claw. I really don't want anybody to die in today's episode. Sorry! I'm empty-handed. Do I look like a, the kind of girl to carry a heavy load? Better try somewhere else. Okay. Alright, that dialogue was a little weird. Hmm. Let's pick up this Pokeball over here. What item is this going to be? We found a Rindo Berry, or a Rindo Berry. Feel a burp coming on. Yep, bear with me. Oh, that was nice. Excuse me. That was nice. Uh, hello, Mr. Orange Cap. I guess we can battle you. My Pokemons, strong points. You'll see them if you fight. 
Okay, I can't wait to see your Pokemon strong points. I really don't want to battle you right now. There are bigger things going on right now than our meaningless squabble. Okay, my friend with the orange hat, he is going to send out a Fideon at level 16. Fideon's a pretty cool Pokemon. Is this thing pure water? I believe it's pure water. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But, you know, I don't mean to judge a book by its cover, but if you're a fish and you're a Pokemans, I would think that you are part water type. Like, let me know in the comments, are there any Pokemon that are, you know, designed after a fish that aren't water types? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious. Uh, so this thing is going to go for a rain dance. We're just going to speed through this battle right here. I think Jordan is in a position where he can completely kill this thing. Water gun is not very effective. We really resist water because steel resists water and water resists water. And we are a steel and water type. So we should be good here. Are we pecking each other? I never understood how fish could learn peck. Like, uh, Sea King makes sense because it has the horn and it could peck you with the horn. But what the hell is a Finneon pecking me with? I don't want to know. I don't want to know the answer to that question. Seedra is coming in. Wow, okay. Uh, let's go out to... You know what? Let's stay in. Seedra's going to come in. We're going to stay in. And we're just going to keep going for pecks. Do not... Do not do this with the smoke screen right now. Okay, that is doing no damage. I am actually going to take this time to heal up Tommy. Because I think going out to Tommy would be the best bet here. You are going for a smoke screen once again. You can smoke screen me all you want because I am just going to switch out. Let's go over to Tommy now. And again, I know I sound like a broken record, but the damn music is incredible in this game. I just want to put it on my iPod and do a bunch of dances, you know? I just want to dance to this and put it on my iPod. A little side note, a little ramble about the iPod. The iPod is dead. And I never thought that I would say that, but isn't that crazy to think that, like, what was it, like, 10 years ago, the iPod was, like, the biggest phenomenon in the world. It changed the music industry, it changed the way we listen to music, and now, all of us just listen to music on our smartphones, which is really crazy. I cannot believe we're at a position, at a time, where the iPod is gone, because the iPod was such a big part of my childhood, and a lot of our childhoods, because, you know, the, uh, the, I've talked about this before on the channel, but the average age on the channel is between 18 and 24, so we're all around the same age for the most part, the mo the majority of us that watch my videos are around the same age, that 18 to 24, it's like 60% of the channel, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, everyone knows what an iPod is, but pretty soon, as the years go on, a lot of people might not know what the iPod is because the iPod is dead. And I don't know why I'm rambling about this, but it's pretty interesting. You know what I mean? We went from iPods. Now we all have our music on our smartphones. Pretty crazy stuff. Something I just want to discuss really quickly with you guys. Because when we play Pokemon, sometimes we talk about other stuff too. But it's crazy. Let me know in the comments below what your first iPod was. My first iPod was the iPod Mini. Those were the little mini ones. Well, obviously, Vinny, they, the iPod Mini was mini. But it was a little mini iPod. And they, had, they came in different colors. I had the light blue one. And I got it for Christmas from my Aunt Deb. Shout out to Aunt Deb if you're watching this. You're definitely not watching this. But Aunt Deb, if you happen to stumble across this and you're watching... Thank you for my iPod Mini many, many years ago. So I don't know which way I want to go right now. I kind of want to go up here. I want to grab this item. How can I grab this item? We found an inquiry, inquiry mail. Okay, I don't care about the mail. Uh, okay, we got a ninja over here. Get great powers drawn from nature without opposing it. This is the strength of rangers. Okay, so these people are rangers. Very cool. Are you a Power Ranger? I like your outfit. I love your little ensemble there. Uh, you're going to send out a Shelter at level 18. I really need a Grass type on this squad. I really do. I really, really do. Uh, let's go out to Kevin to take down this Shelter. And another thing that I have to do is go and heal this status that my team is rocking with right now. Because Kevin is paralyzed and Tommy is burned and wow the shoulder has really good defenses this is why i need a grass type my friends this is why i need a grass type and hopefully we will get a grass type sometime soon because when we battle water types we can only send out things that are neutral against it you know what i mean some things that are super like if we get hit with water no steel the steel resist water or water resists steel i'm pretty sure if we get hit with a water type attacking move it's going to be super effective but maybe not because Kevin is also part bug type. But we just got a Chesto Berry. But yeah, we really just, we need a grass type. We really do. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center really quickly. And let's heal up the squad. And we haven't, we haven't, we have not ran into any wild Pokemon yet. Which is pretty interesting. But I'm going to make my way back to the Pokemon Center so I can see my girl Nurse Joy. And she will make me feel better. How you doing Nurse Joy? How are you? I can't talk to Nurse Joy yet because we're not inside of the Pokemon Center yet. Here we are Nurse Joy. How you doing? You looking great gal. 
I love you. Thank you for healing up the squad. But yeah, let me know what you guys are doing today on this lovely Tuesday. Uh, let me know what your plans are for this week. Let me know what you're doing for New Year's Eve. Maybe that's going to be the question of the day for today's episode. What are your plans for New Year's Eve? I'm very excited for New Year's Eve. Going to go out with some friends. Going to have a nice time. The only thing that sucks about this year is that New Year's Eve happens. And then I'm working New Year's Day for 12 hours. I will be at the pizzeria on New Year's Day from 10 in the morning, 10 at night. I am not looking forward to that. Should we battle you? I'm probably not going to battle you. But if we beat you, we might get another berry. Here's a Feebass. At level 14, we are simply going to run away. Now, we have been training up Jordan a lot, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and train up Roscoe. And I hear my mother moving furniture above the, above the ceiling. Above the ceiling is the kitchen. I know I mentioned this many, many times. How you doing, Staravia? How are you? How are the kids? All right, Mom, you got to chill with moving the furniture. But yeah, I know I've mentioned this many times in many different videos. Right above my little office area over here is the kitchen. So when they move the kitchen chairs over... It makes a noise. Or that might be Harley playing with her bone. Harley, baby girl, please! Your brother is recording, lady! I need absolute silence, thank you! Alright, so hopefully she heard that. Dogs have really good hearing, so she definitely heard that. So hopefully she doesn't ignore me. We're gonna come back over here, and now we're running into Pokemon. Sampta. Sampta, thank you for delivering presents for everybody. The last, what was it, two days ago? Christmas was two days ago. Right? Or am I going crazy about that? Yeah. It was two days ago. Thank you. You can now enjoy your vacation. We couldn't get away. Can we not right now? Can we not? Samta, we got away safely. Okay, beautiful. Samta's coming tonight, tonight. Samta's coming tonight. All right, let's come through here. Yo, I love the design of this forest, though. This is really cool. Can we head to the right? No, we cannot. So we're going to head to the left, and we're going to see what else we run into. And here is a Stunfisk. For a second, I thought that was a shiny Stunfisk. That would have been really cool. Mm. Now keep in mind, just a little bit of info. What the fuck is going on above me? I apologize for the noise, guys. But yeah, just a little bit of info. I gotta fix the lighting because the lighting is not very good right now. Yo, seriously, this dog is going crazy with this bone. Please stop. Please. I'm begging you, Harley. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Anyway, a little bit of information. Just so you guys know. Yermit! Yermit the Porygon 2! Was Yermit a Porygon 2 or a Porygon Z? I'm pretty sure he was a Porygon 2. But I can't really remember. Yo, Roscoe, why are you so slow? But yeah, like I was going to say, Harley and her bone got my train of thought completely distracted. But what I was trying to say, what I was trying to say was, if we run into a shiny Pokemon, the shiny claw... Oh my god! Harley, please! Ma, get the bone! Okay, hopefully that worked. Okay, now that was just on purpose. This is ridiculous. I have to call my mom, I think. I think I have to call my mom. This is, this is a joke. This is a joke, right? Let me call my mom. Please pick up. Hello? Mom? <laughs> I love you so much. I'm literally 23 minutes into my recording. Can you please take the bone from Harley? Because it sounds like an earthquake is going on. I love you so much, Ma. There we go. So now we should be good. She's going to take the bone away. I don't mean to ruin a dog's happiness. I don't. But we're in the middle of a recording. And you guys can hear that. It sounds like an earthquake. This mic is very sensitive. Now we're going to battle you anyway. Like I was trying to say 15 fucking times. Okay. Hear me out. If we run into a shiny Pokemon, the shiny clause is into effect. It takes effect, and we can't- what am I even saying? I can't get my thoughts out now. That completely just distracted me. It ruined my momentum. It ruined my commentary's flow. If we run into a shiny Pokemon, we can catch it because of the shiny claws. That's all I'm trying to say. We're battling an Aggron now. So, my point was, I really hope that we can run into a shiny Pokemon because I would love to catch it. Okay, we're battling an Aggron. I don't think Roscoe can- I mean, we have Water Gun. So we're gonna go for the water gun, but I really don't know if Roscoe can handle this. He can't handle it! Uh, my theory was correct, Roscoe. Please one-shot this thing. Oh my god, Roscoe, you are frail. I am sorry, but you are very frail. Let's go out to Jordan, because I think Jordan can have some better luck with this thing. Plus, Jordan is only one level below this thing. You're going for a headbutt. We should resist that. We do resist that. Now let's go for a bubble. Now, Bubble is weaker than Water Gun, right? But Bubble should do more damage because we are at a higher level. This is super effective. It does around the same. That is kind of alarming. You are going for an Iron Defense. 
But yeah, man, I apologize for all those interruptions. I mean, it's hilarious that we literally got my mom on the phone in the middle of a recording, but I apologize for all those noises. I really hope that you guys didn't hear them too bad. You definitely heard a lot of them because that was loud. It was ringing my eardrums, all right? That means it was definitely ringing yours because, like I said, this mic is very sensitive. But yeah, it threw off my momentum, man. We had some great commentary in today's episode, then all the shenanigans happened, and then I started, you know, fumbling over my words, but it's totally okay. We're only human. I'm not cutting anything out of this episode, my friends. I am keeping everything in. But yeah, like I was trying to say, simply, all I was trying to say, if we run into a shiny Pokemon, we can catch it. If we already got an encounter in this route or area. So, for example, in the Pinwheel Forest, we already got an encounter. So, if we run into a shiny Pokemon, we will be able to catch it because of the shiny claws. And if you guys ever have any questions, any concerns about the Nuzlocke rules in full detail, just go into the description and the full rules are down the full rules are down below in the description. And let me stop rambling about this. It's over with. We're here. We're focusing on the battle. We're learning Bide. I'm not going to learn Bide. I never see myself in a scenario where I have to use Bide. So let's forget Bide. No. Keep old moves. Give up on Bide. There we go. We defeat this Ranger, this Ninja. And every time you beat them, you get a berry. So I suppose that comes in handy. Now, how big is this forest, man? Are you? You have to be the one. That stole... No, you know what? There's another little tunnel, little branch tunnel, if that's what I can call these things, to go down deeper into the forest. So you've made it this fall! I'll hold you here so my friends can get away! Okay. You're gonna hold me here so your friends can get away. Let's see what you're gonna do. Man, this Team Plasma music is incredible. Boss Mark is going to send out a Quilava. I love Quilava. I love the design. I love all the evolutions in the Quilava evolutionary line, but we are going to kill you. Not with Roscoe, though. Definitely not with Roscoe. Let's go out to... Let's go out to Tommy. I would go out to Empoleon, but it scares me that Empoleon is part steel type, and I'm wondering, if this thing goes for an ember, right, and we're part steel, part water, the water resists the ember, but the steel is weak to the ember. So does that mean it's neutral damage? That's probably what it means. Nonetheless, we're just going to go for a Fury Swipes, and we are going to body this Quilava. Roscoe gets to level 16. Now we're learning Mudshot. Now what does Mudshot do? The user attacks by hurling a blob of mud at the target. It also reduces the target's speed. 55 power. We're going to get rid of Mud Slap for Mudshot, and that is good to go. We are good to go. Yep, I'm here to buy time, and if you don't steep lively... If you don't step lively, steep, step, whatever, lively, we're going to get away. You're not going to get away. Not on my watch. No way, no how. Where do we go? Do we go to the right now? Okay, here's another ball. We can pick this up. We found a Greppa Berry. Can we please, like, find a good item, like some TMs, some Master Balls? That would be great. Are there any hidden items? I thought that was going to be a hidden item. No, it was a hidden trainer. Excuse me. Blend into a wilderness and talk to Pokemon with your heart. This, that is a ranger. Very cool. It would be cooler if we were battling Power Rangers, but wow, you have a lasso or a whip, depending on how you want to look at that. And you're going to send out a coughing shout out to Gym Leader Matt. So here's a coughing at level 18. You have the forewarn ability. Uh, not really sure what that does, but we're going to go out to Kevin and we are going to body you with our powerful little steel ant. He's not little. He's a pretty big ant. I don't know. I have to look at his size and see how big he actually is. If, you know, my guess would be that he's like the size of a human. Is that accurate? Is that fair to say? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. He's definitely not the size of like an average human ant. There's no way. He, that's that's way too tiny. If you, I'm sure you can fully utilize this. He's she or he. I'm not even sure to be honest. He's gonna give us another berry. Now, do I go down? Oh my god, this forest is huge. Do I come down or do I come up here? So there's another team plasma grunt. So I'm gonna come down here first and see if I can get these items. So let's come down here. Let's go grab that item, but first, we're going to battle a Porygon 2. Shout out to Yermit. I'm pretty sure that Yermit was a Porygon 2. I'm actually going to go ahead and put Slim Shady in the front now, because Roscoe is already at level 16. Level 16, is that accurate? Yes, level 16. All right, so let's come up here and let's grab this Pokeball. TM81 x Scissor. Can anybody learn that? Let's find out. We have a lot of TMs, actually. So TM15. TM15, no, tm 81 his x scissor it has 15 power points. It has 80 power. Oh, please tell me that Durant can learn this. Yes, he can! Yes, he can! So, what are we going to get rid of for x scissor Uh, let's get rid of... I feel like Metal Claw. 
right? Or should we keep that? I want to keep agility. I want to keep sand attack. Let's get rid of metal claw. One, two, and ta-da. We forgot. Uh, what did we forget? I already forgot what we forgot. <laughs> I already forgot what we forgot. It doesn't really matter. I think it was metal claw. We learn X scissor now, which is so powerful. And it's stab. And it's coming from a Durant with 59 attack. This is awesome. This is awesome. 80 base power. This is going to put it nothing but the finest of work. I am very excited about that. So let's come over here now. Isn't this the way we came from, actually? Okay. We got wild Moltres in the forest. Let's just simply run away. I don't want any problems. How do I get over there? How do I get over there? That's what I'm trying to figure out. How you doing, Della Bird? How are the kids? How's the wife? Everybody's good? That's good. So we can't get over there. I guess we have to surf. But we can't surf yet, and I don't think we're going to surf anytime soon. I think you have to surf to get over there. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get surf anytime soon because we only have two gym badges. Can we not right now? Please escape, Slim Shady. Slim Shady, please escape. There we go. All right, so Slim Shady is really not the fastest Pokemon in town, but he's trying his best. Here's another Porygon 2. I love how Porygon 2 just whips its tail over and over again. Please just run away. Slim Shady, I have you in the front because I want to train you up. Okay, there we go. So here is the final Team Plasma Grunt, I think. A pursuer. Ooh, haha. <laughs> a kid like you beats some of us. That can't be helped, but I'll take you on now. All right, let's do it. Let's take you on. Mm. So I think I finally got my momentum back. The dog's bone broke my momentum a little bit, but now I think my momentum is back and I'm feeling good. And we're recording. And he's sending out a reg ice. And some people call it a Reggie Ice, but I call it a Reg Ice. Let me know in the comments down below if you say Reg Ice or you say Reggie Ice. Okay, back to the battle. It's good that we have Slim Shady up here because we're going to go for an Incinerate. We outspeed a legendary Pokemon, and we're going to see how much damage this does. It is going to be super effective. That does nothing. That literally does nothing. You are going to go for a Stomp, and that really does nothing to me as well. So we're going to continue to go for the Incinerate. Maybe we'll get a Burn. No burn, you're gonna go for a stomp again. Yo, Slim Shady spits that super hot fire. He is not going to be defeated by a giant block of ice with a couple of beads on its chest. I don't know what those things are. The, what are you, oh! No, no, oh my God, Slim Shady, you fucking animal. Oh my God. That was amazing. I'm going to faint because I yelled very, very loud there. That was amazing. I thought for sure that Slim Shady was going to die. Oh my god, this episode is ridiculous. Slim Shady, you powerful anteater. And it makes so much sense. I was reading so many comments recently, and you guys were like, Yo, Vinny, you understand why Heatmore and Durant don't like each other. You understand why they're mortal enemies. Because Heatmore is an anteater. And Durant is an ant. So many emotions are running through my body right now. I cannot believe that we survived. I cannot believe we defeated that Reg Ice. I cannot believe that we're learning Fire Spin. I can believe that's a common move in the move pool of a Heat More. But damn! That was wild. This episode is wild. Magneton is coming in. I would stay in with Slim Shady, but he's a little bit banged up right now. Uh, let's go out to... Yo, what is with the noises today? Can my family just have the common courtesy to please be quiet while I'm filming? Is that too much to ask for? I don't think it is. Please. I don't want anybody to die today. Magneton, you look really weird in this generation. You have the Mold Breaker. I am simply going to go for a Super Potion. We're going to heal up. I don't think this Magneton can do anything to us. Yeah, we're going to eat that up. Let's go for an Incinerate. This should be super effective. And it's going to be a two-hit KO. You're going to go for a Thunder Shock. Now, I wonder if this Team Plasma Grunt is the Grunt that is holding the skull. And if he has the skull, what is it, like, sitting in his pocket? Is that is that what's going on? You put the skull in your pocket? We're going to find out. A Golem is coming out now. Yo, this is seriously ridiculous today. Guys, I apologize for all the noises. This is just... I'm trying my best to keep my composure, but this is seriously ridiculous how much noise is going on upstairs. Normally, I would keep this, I would cut this all out, but it's happened so many times that there will be jump cuts every 15 fucking minutes. So we're just going to keep the jump cut. We're just going to keep it all in. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. All right, a gallet is coming in. I don't even know what that is. We're going to send out Kevin, a.k.a. Kevin Durant, and gallet. All right, I don't know what typing you are. I'm going to go for the X's or see how much damage that does. 
It's not very effective, but still is almost a one-hit KO. That is beautiful. We're gonna go for another X Scissor, and we're gonna take down the Gollet. My mom must be doing, like, fucking spring cleaning in the middle of the winter today. Whew, just stay calm, Vinny. Fine! Take your stupid skull! Okay, we obtained the skull. Now, where are we putting the skull? In our bag, perhaps? Any more dialogue? So the dream our king had, the dream we had, won't come true. Is this... Who the fuck is this guy? Gorm. How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? G Gorm of the Seven Sages. Uh, I'm mortified that this skull, which we went so much trouble to obtain, was stolen from us so easily. It's not important. We can afford to abandon the dragon skull. According to the results of our research, this is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated. But we will not allow anyone to disturb our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you never interfere with us again. Are we about to battle Gorm, I believe his name is? Ah, oh, sweet! The bug Pokemon we're getting all worked up about. Wait, let's start that over. The bug Pokemon we're getting all worked up, so here I come. And what do I spy with my little eye? This important looking guy. There's no, this is no time for poetry right now. Please, Berg, is that your name, Berg? Please, not the time nor the place. Are you here to help your friends whom I defeated? Oh my god. Mom! Please! Come on! Guys, I apologize for getting so angry. Uh, you guys normally don't see me angry like that unless a Pokemon dies. But holy shit! I can't stay focused on the fucking dialogue when I hear fucking noises coming from upstairs! Stay calm. Vinny! Berg! The others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I'm guessing he is like an apprentice for the big boss because we know the big boss is Getsis, right? And I know I'm saying that right because you guys left comment after comment. Vinny, it's not Getsis, it's Getsis. I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Getsis, speak of the devil and he shall appear, another of the seven sages will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder of the seven sages have ordered their compatriots to take Pokemon with full force, but the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug Pokemon user Berg, and the normal Pokemon user Lenora, I say, know your enemies, know yourself. And no, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time we shall retreat quietly. To secure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further obstruction from you. In any case, we will settle this someday. I hope you are looking forward to take the time as much as I. You're going to teleport away. All right, very interesting. Oh. This is very dialogue heavy, but now some happy music is playing, so that's good. They're a speedy bunch. What are you planning to do, Berg? Are you going to chase them? No, he's probably going to write some more poetry, this fucking guy over here, coming at the wrong, wrong place at the wrong time. I can't speak. I'm so flustered. In today's episode, there have been so many distractions. I apologize. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're not at the outro yet, so let me just, let me, let me slow my roll, okay? I'm, I feel like Usain Bolt right now, all right? I'm very fast. Let's take it down a couple notches. We get back to the stolen skull, and if we corner them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'll be heading back, Lenora. So this guy literally did nothing. He made us go and battle the Team Plasma grunts, then he shows up at the last minute to say some poetic shit, and now he's gonna leave. Well now, well, I'll be waiting for your challenge at Castelia City's Pokemon Gym. Yes, indeed, I'm certainly looking forward to it. Okay, so he's gonna go back to his gym. Do you have anything else to say, Lenora? Vinny! You're holding the Dragon Skull. You worked so hard to get back, right? We gave the Dragon Skull to Lenora. Vinny, thank you so much. What a kind trainer like you taking care of them. The Pokemon with you must be happy. Here's a token of my gratitude. Please use it carefully. We obtained a Moonstone. Is that normally a Moonstone or is that randomized to a Moonstone? Could somebody let me know in the comments down below? Because like you guys know, this is the first time that I'm playing through Generation 5. This is a Moonstone. Some Pokemon evolve when you use this item on them. Now, I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. See you. Take care of yourself. So it's probably usually a Moonstone because her dialogue wouldn't change that much to say the Moonstone evolves certain Pokemon, yada yada. So let's come out of the forest Let's make our way back to the Pokemon Center so we can see our girl and there's Joy and she will make us feel better. Please don't battle me. I don't want to battle any of you. Oh my goodness. These are all trainers. I don't want to battle. 
I don't want to battle anyone right now. I want to simply go back to the Pokemon Center. We can battle you guys at a later time. Heatmore's coming out. Okay, you have the Mold Breaker ability. We're going to go for Incinerate, and we are going to completely body, body, body this Magneton. So let's see how much damage this does. Beautiful. Down goes the Magneton. And coming up next is a Foro Seed. Uh, this thing's definitely a Grass type, right? So we're going to go for Incinerate. And that's super effective. And down goes the Foro Seed. I believe that was the name of the Pokemon. Arcanine's coming in. I should have switched out. Uh, Arcanine is here. So we are going to go for a... We're going to switch out. Uh, we're going to go over to Tommy. No, you know what? Let's go out to Jordan. Let's go out to Jordan because we can use a super effective bubble on this thing. We are at a higher level than this thing. You're going for a bite. We're going to eat that up. Dita, dita, dita. Let's go for a bubble and see how much damage that does to this beautiful, powerful fire dog over here. Imagine having an Arcanine as a pet. That would be quite the crazy pet. Like, imagine going to the dog park and you just throw a Pokeball and an Arcanine pops up. Or pops out for that matter. We're learning Bubble Beam. I'm going to get rid of Bubble for Bubble Beam. Because Bubble Beam is simply a more powerful version of Bubble. If that's how you want to look at it. I don't want to battle you. Can I just sneak by? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. We just can't have a nice ending where we get back to the Pokemon Center. And we heal our, heal, heal our balls. I need to go to sleep. I need to go to sleep today. Because you know what? All of the movement of the furniture upstairs ruined my commentary's flow. And now I'm flustered, and I just want to go to bed, and when I wake up, I will record more content for you guys. I apologize for all of the distractions today, but you know what? It was a very entertaining episode, nonetheless. Definitely an entertaining episode. Down goes the Rhyhorn, and now we can finally make it to the Pokemon Center, and we can end this episode, and I can go nap, because that's what I want to do right now. And now it's daylight, apparently. Was it always daylight in this episode? Probably was. Like I said, my mind's all over the place from all of the distractions. Guys... Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Seriously, I want to apologize for all of the noise that was coming from upstairs. But sometimes, kids, in life, you hear noises and you got to do your best to just stay on track and keep your commentary flowing. And when there's a fork in the road, don't go left, don't go right, go straight. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, leave a comment. We will have some nice discussion in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode of the Pokemon Black version, Randomized Nuzlocke. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.